To plot points on a semi-log graph, you need to understand how to scale the y-axis and what each of the lines represent. So in this example, the, the y-scale ranges from 2.4 to 1,000. And those points are so far apart, it would be hard to see them accurately on a regular graph. Um, but because this 2.4 is near 10 to the 0, which is 1, I'm going to start my scale at 1. And then the next big heavy line would be 10 to the 1st. Sorry about that. The next big heavy line will be 10 to the 1st. And then the next one would be 10 to the 2nd, or 100. And the next one would be 10 to the 3rd, or 1,000. Then each of these little divisions are counting by whatever the lower number is for that cycle. So if this is a 1, then each of these are 1 away. If this is a 1, then each of these are counting by 1s. So this is 1, then this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. If this is 10, then the next line up is counting by 10s from there. So that would be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, etc. This is 100, then each of these lines are counting by 100. 100, 200, 300. Now this is semi-log paper and the vertical scale is scaled logarithmically, and the horizontal scale is just arithmetic as normal. So this is 5 lines over, and we'll say that this is 5, 5 more is 10, and 5 more is 15. So to quickly plot this data, over 0 and up 1,000, over 3 and up 274, so we go up to 100, then this is 200, the next one's 300, so 274 would be about in here. And over 6 and up 75, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. Now one thing that's hard to remember is that the big line is already 10, and so the first line up from there is 20. Make sure you count it that way and then over 11 and up 8.7. So this is 1, the first one is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8.7, and then over 14 and up 1, 2, nope, 1, 2.4. I almost made that mistake. Remember that this line is 1, and so the next line is 2, and this one is 3, and 9's the one up here almost close to 10. If you want to understand why the spacing is what it is, take the log of 1 and you'll get 0. Take the log of 2 and you'll get a decimal value that represents this distance, and then the log of 3, you'll get a decimal that represents being a little bit higher than that, and the log of 10 will give you 1. And play around with that and you'll see how it works. Now if you've plotted this data correctly, you should be able to draw a line through those points. So you should get a straight edge and try to connect those points with a line. And if they come out as close as that, you did great. So um, I hope it works for you. Now if you needed to change the scale and not go just from 1 to 1,000, you might need numbers that are smaller than that for a different set of data. You can count the y-axis by any factors of 10. So you could, for example, start with 0 0.01, 10 to the negative 2, and then the next one would be 0.1, and the next one would be 1, 10 to the negative 1 is 0.1, 10 to the 0, and then the next one would be 10. And these don't necessarily have to be counting by fives, but I'll go ahead and stick with that. So if you had to plot the point that was, say, 0 0.05 and, oh, 
sorry, not 0 0.05, let's say 2 comma 0 0.05, you would go over You'd go over two lines and up. That's this is 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05 would be there. And if you had to plot the point seven, comma point eight, you would go over seven. Here's point one. 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 